We want to read this word. And this word sometimes is for us that's been through something for a long time. Been through our ups and our downs, through trials and tribulations, rough times, seeing like things weren't going to work out for us, and still sometimes it don't seem like it's going to work for us. But I want to encourage you today that it will work out for you. It will work out for you if you just hold on and Luke chapter 5 and verse 4. Verse 1, sorry about that. Luke chapter 5 and verse 1, that's where we wanted to go. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. We're talking about Jesus here. And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered in to one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Talking about Jesus. Verse 4. Now when he had left speaking, when he was done speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. Verse 5. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their nets break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which was in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of fishes which they had taken. Verse 10. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. We're not catching fish after this. Okay. Thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ship to the land, they forsook all and followed him. In this lesson, we want to take for a thought, launch out into the deep. Yeah. They don't catch whales on the seashore. They catch them out in the deep. They were sitting on the side, and as he was teaching them, he said, all right, I want you to launch out to the deep right now. If you really want to see a change in your life, you got to launch out into the deep. Now, when you launch something, that means you throw it out there. Uh -uh. You go way out into the other parts. You do it on a sudden thing. You just sit here, and then all of a sudden, you launch out. So he's going to launch this boat out so he can let down their nets so they can lift up a drought of fishes out of the water. Uh -huh. And Simon told him, Lord, we've been toiling, and the word toil means we've been working extensively all night long. Yeah. We ain't been out here playing. We've been toiling, we've been working hard to catch some fish all night long. Yeah. And now to cast out into the deep. We done did everything we could. And I want to say to you, I know you done did everything you could to make 
broke the neck. Huh? And it was all night, couldn't get one fish. Huh? And now the neck is breaking. Huh? So they called over to the other men huh? in the other ship huh? and said, I need you to come and help us. Huh? We got more than enough right now. So I need somebody to help me to get this fish into the boat. Huh? So they came and they helped them. Huh? And they was getting the fish into both boats. Huh? And they had more than enough for both boats. Huh? So the boats on both sides huh, began to sink. Huh? What I'm trying to say huh, is God got more than enough. Huh? So everything that you're going through, huh? you may think you're at the end of the road. Huh? But God is not done with you yet. Huh? And that's why you have so much trouble. Huh? That's why the devil's on your every side. Huh? Because he knows huh, if you lock out huh, into the you will bring in more than enough. And that's why he tries. That's why he gives us. He don't want us All right. to bring in more than enough. Uh -huh. So they went out and they got the boat in. Peter bowed down. He said, This Jesus is so amazing that I feel like a wicked man as I stand next to him. He got so much power. He is so great. And I heard in another lesson that he called them as he was out getting his disciples.
disciples. Uh, he had to get 12 men uh, to go with him. Uh, when he went and got Simon, uh, hallelujah, and John, uh, he got them together. Uh, he bought the two out. Uh, when he bought the first two out, uh, they said uh, they was in that thing, uh, getting that together, uh, and they seen Jesus. Uh, they bound tell me uh, they dropped all that they was doing uh,
that your master ha, eateth and drinketh ha, with the publicans and the sinners. Ha. He said one thing. Ha, I didn't come ha, to call the saints. Ha. so 
much and so big. How am I going to come out of this? And I want you to know God came by. Oh, my God. 
They'll put a screen on you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody blocking you. They'll put somebody for a screen there. Lock you out. God is a screen. God is a rainmaker. Seven hundred of it 
and gave it to the church. Thank you, Lord. I know that will mess with some of y'all. Y'all ain't gonna get seven dollars. But I'm trying to tell you, I took care of God's business. Thank you, Lord. And He kept giving me more of those five, six, seven, eight thousand dollar checks. Amen. Because I was giving Him of what He gave me. Amen. He gave it to me first. Amen. Then I gave it back to Him. Then He gave it to me again, and then I gave it back to Him. Uh huh. But I want to say, y'all, just keep it to yourself. I know we don't want to hear this. This last thing we'll hear, giving our money up. Because mm -hmm. I go through a whole lot of things about my money. Don't mess with my money. Uh -huh. I'll be your friend. I'll be all that. But don't start getting in my pocket. Uh -huh. I don't want to buy in our pocket. And I'm saying this because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time with it. But when you do what is right, yes. whatever it is, telling the truth, being honest, being real, being truthful, being what God wants you to be, what you do, you're setting yourself up for a blessing. That's all it is. You're setting yourself up for a blessing. Somebody said, I didn't try to do this and I didn't try to do that, but you came up before the results came back. You know, when you get ready to lose some weight today, you don't eat a little bit today, you don't expect to get tomorrow weighing 20 pounds of weight. It's going to take more than one day of missing a meal and one day of going to the gym. And that's the same thing with God. It took time to get it right. It takes some time to purge out the old man. Don't think you won't get this overnight. What I'm talking about is to be years to get here. Because it wasn't my 